Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Adrian and today I'm going to review for you guys the Supergirl Bishoujo from Kotobukeya. Now, uh, as you can see, she's in a really great pose right here. She has one hand on her hip, you know, she's kind of leaning one way, looking off to like the left side right here. Really great superhero pose with the wind, you know, blowing her hair back and her cape, just like swinging with the wind. And look at all the, the, the detail in the cape right there. It looks really, um, looks really nice. But but before we get into that, let me give you a quick, you know, some quick basic information about Supergirl right here. All right, so as you may or may not know, Supergirl is Superman's cousin. You know, they both were from Krypton. I think they both left around the same time that planet was being destroyed. But, you know, uh, Supergirl right here, her real name is Kara Sorrel. She got kind of like stuck in space. I think it was like around an asteroid belt. If I'm sure, if I'm not, you guys can correct me in the comments. But yeah, she got like, kind of stuck in the asteroid belt and she was kind of like in stuck in like hibernation sleep, or I think that's how you say it, or you know, a cryogenic sleep or something like that. Anyway, she got kind of frozen in time there in the asteroid belt. And by the time she reached Earth, you know, uh, Superman had reached her first and he grew up to an adult and she was basically a teenager. And, you know, and since she was a teenager in her Krypton, you know, when she got to Earth, she was, like, kind of, like, left out. She didn't know how to, like, fit in. You know, her culture was Krypton, and she's basically, like, a new, like, kind of stranger on Earth. So, yeah, that's basically basic background information about her. And if you guys want to see some, like, great, you know, uh, shows or movies that she's been in, you know, from Batman, the animated series, there's this one episode called Girls, Girls Night Out with... Her and Batgirl, that's a really fun episode. You guys should check that out. And if you want to watch like a animated movie, uh, Batman and Superman Apocalypse, she, fe she features really heavily in that. And that's a really good story. Also a really good animated movie. Uh, I suggest you guys watch that. And the Injustice 2 Super Game, she also features heavily in that. And that's a pretty good story too. And also a really fun video game. All right, so enough about that. Let's get into the statue here. All right. Like always, starting from top to bottom. So at the top, we got a really nice face sculpt. I really like the way, you know, they did it. You know, you can see the little pink on her lips. Came out great. So the the paint on the used for the eyes. You know, the eyelashes came out really good. Really nice face sculpt. She has a really pretty face. Nice hair sculpt also. I like the, like, it's not like a super yellow blonde like they did for Black Canary. But it's also, it's more of this, like, dirty blonde. And it's, like... It looks really nice. Also, nice sculpts for the hair all around. As you can see, the little strands right here. As it comes to the back, the little like swirlies over here at the tip of the ends. At the back, you got all these strands. Nice sculpt as always. Coming back to the front, you have this one little hair up here on the top. Really good. Uh, as you can see, for her costume or her upper like chest area. You see the nice S right there, nice details. It has some creases on it, as you guys can see. But also the paint is also really nice. It has like this red, like kind of metallic burgundy-ish kind of paint that they use for it. And it really shines and it looks like, uh, kind of like, kind of like a metal. Also for the gold too, the same kind of paint, but for the gold, really shiny gold, shiny kind of burgundy-ish red. Also nice blue for, you know, her costume. You see details right here on the sleeves or on her elbow. And around the cuff area part, nice gold trim for the cuff, you know, part where it's around her hand. Again, more details over here on her other, like, right hand. Again, around the cuff area and around her elbows. And then the little gold over here, right at the bottom of her, like, shirt. So, yeah, really great, uh, really great costume, nice blue. And they have, like, uh, nice shading effects, too. Again, for the skirt, nice, you know, nice sculpt work right there for... The creases on her skirt, you can see it all around, around the back. Nice gold paint, again, for the belt, which the belt, I would like it to have some shading, but it's, it's that solid gold, shiny color, which, you know, kind of makes it look cartoony, but it's all right, you know, it'd be cool if the buckle was like, maybe like a different color or whatnot, but yeah, nice gold for the, the skirt. And for the boots, right here, you got nice, like, bright, bright red. And again, nice detailing around over here, around her foot, around where the creases are. Really great detailing. Nice red. It does have some shading. You can see on the back, more detail right here around her ankle. 
and nice uh, gold trim right there at the very top of the boots and nice design too also the flesh tone came, came out really good you can see uh, the knee detail right there nice uh, uh, flesh tone color right here on her legs and her stomach nice definition on her stomach you know you can see her abs her belly button uh, around her collarbone right here you can see like her muscle like her bone structure around her neck came out really great also the back you know which is like the main detail is the cape the sculpt of the cape came out really nice you can see like the creases right here the nice gold trim all around the edges of the cape came out really good and you could definitely see the shading that they did right here for the cape and it's like this light black and you know it's kind of like burgundy-ish around this area where it's shaded and then it's a nice red so really nice cape really nice uh statue overall i really like it it's really great and also you guys want to sneak a peek they do she does have her underwear and it's red so you know it's realistic like that all right oh before i forget the base the base is really nice it's the superman you know or supergirl in this case you know emblem s that she stands on and it's really good i really like the paint that they use it's kind of like this maroon burgundy ish again color red and then like a, like a mustard yellow gold for you know the background but yeah nice uh supergirl emblem s base that she stands on i wish more bases were kind of like customized like this for the other heroes so that is it i hope you guys like this review if you guys did please leave a like comment share and subscribe because i'll be doing more videos like this all right later guys and i'll see you guys later god bless